that if we want to achieve the results only 5% of the people have achieved we must be willing to do and think like only 5% of the people do and think good evening my dear amazing global leaders happy international women's day to all of you i'm speaking to you with immense sweetness and pride as a global chairperson of women entrepreneurship and empowerment vertical of gcpit we used to call this vertical we women entrepreneurship and empowerment but after this summit this vertical will be renamed as w combinator we at cmsme and gcpit believe that we have done enough and more for women empowerment and during our journey of the last 3 years we have realized that women are already empowered it is high time we focus on providing more opportunities for their growth towards global leadership and entrepreneurship that's how we thought of the concept of w combinator which will bring together global women power and believe we believe this can create magical results this again is something which is the brain child of our founder mr santosh ganesh and he will be explaining more about this during the w combinator globally Every year we celebrate international women's day march and this year the theme for international women's day is choose to challenge and also un women has declared its theme as women in leadership creating an equal future in a covid-19 world this made us think what can we do to create and bring more women leaders to lead in international trade as well i feel extremely proud to say that we have launched various initiatives to make this dream come true the brand india women in business awards the brand africa women in business awards the global women in leadership conversation series are unique initiatives we have come up with recognize global women leaders and to recognize and appreciate unsung heroes and also to motivate and inspire them to mentor and develop more and more women leaders all the learnings from these leaders will be extracted and released as a book i feel extremely happy and proud to say that all these initiatives as i mentioned before have has come from a from the brain of a man who is a loving son and a husband, loving husband and a proud father as i mentioned before i wish to thank Mr Santosh Ganesh for all these initiatives and also all the support he has been giving to all out here in CMSME GCPIT and also to all our global women leaders across the globe i'm sure you all will agree with me so beautiful ladies let us begin the celebration we are celebrating the leadership journey of 108 amazing women leaders their achievements their persistence and their resilience The Global Women in Leadership Awards is a small recognition recognition from GCPIT to salute the hardships you have gone through and also to celebrate the rewards you have been you have received during this journey. So to begin this amazing celebration let me invite a very special person from CMSME uh, to do the honor. She is the national chairperson chairperson of MSME Growth Vertical of CMSME. I call her my mother. She is the guiding light of all of us at CMSME. Let me invite Ms. Anju Bajaj for the opening address. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Parna. Thank you for this lovely words. It's great to be part of this event, and I thank CMSME and GCPIT for giving me this opportunity to welcome you all. And most important, as you said, the man behind the success of women today. We can vouch for these awards, as Mr. Santosh Kadesh. so we celebrate this day to honor women salute their courage celebrate their success and raise awareness about women's equality it's a day for praising women who work hard every day to accomplish individual and professional goals this day is all about feeling self worth and achieving the goals as per the potential be any field women have never left any stone unturned to prove themselves to commemorate the occasion let's celebrate womenhood by taking a look back at those women who chose to challenge and cross all the hurdles with flying colors and you know to quote i name them as strong women a strong woman is one who feels deeply and loves fiercely her tears flow as abundantly as her laughter a strong woman is both soft and powerful she is both practical and spiritual she loves forgets walks away lets go tries again and perseveres no matter what life at her so congratulations to each one of you for being awarded and emerging as a strong woman today thank you varna over to you thank you anju ma'am thank you for those uh, nice words uh, let me invite our chief guest today 
She is the country head for the United uh, Kingdom under brand South Africa, the custodian of the South Africa country brand. Her role is to market South Africa in the UK, attract foreign direct investment to South Africa, recognize global South Africans abroad, and to manage the brand reputation of South Africa. Let me proudly invite Ms. Pamela Salela to her for her GPS address. Thank you very much, Your Excellencies, Ambassadors, High Commissioners, the founders of the Global Council for the Promotion of International Trade, the Confederation of Indian Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Program Director, allow me to start by congratulating each and every woman that is being honored today. I want to encourage you and say, you have gone forward, now go forth and do and dare. And I'm sure that I, what I'm about to share will resonate with each and every one of you in terms of the hurdles, the challenges that you've gone through um, to be where you are. It's, it's one of my go-to songs. It's called Rise Up by Andra Day. That it goes, you broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round and you can't find the fighter, but I see it in you. And so we're gonna walk it out and move mountains. We're gonna walk it out and move mountains. And I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day. I'll rise up, I'll rise unafraid. I'll rise up and I'll do it a thousand times. And I'll rise up high like the waves. I'll rise up in spite of the ache. I'll rise up and I'll do it a thousand times again. Don't you agree that that is who you are and you've overcome all the hurdles to be where you are. Hence, each of you really deserves a note of congratulation. And I want you to take this moment. Let's capture the energy and tap yourself in the back. Tap yourself in the back and say, well done to me. Well done to me. I want to see each of us tapping us ourselves in the back and saying, well done, well done to me. We are, we are meeting at a time where there is the Africa continental free trade area, which will be the largest free trade area since the formation of the way over there. Um, what I was saying was that we are meeting at a time when the Africa continental free trade area is one of the largest free trade areas uh, since the formation of the World Trade Organization in terms of the numbers of participating countries. And so we extend our congratulations to Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwela, who has been appointed the first woman and the first African to, uh, to take the realms of, of the World Trade Organization. And so it is significant that today as women on International Women's Day, we also take a moment to wish her well in her endeavors and in the role that she has taken. Um, I have, we, we have been asked to just make short remarks, so I'm not going to be long, except to say that it is timely that we are meeting on International Women's Day today, where the theme is choose to change. And I want to challenge that each and every one of us as individuals and as communities, um, that we challenge ourselves and ask ourselves, what role are we each going to play in the emancipation of global women in trade? And I want us to invite the men, and this, these are the men who I call progressive men. These are men who understand the challenges that are faced by women and support women in their cause. And for a moment, I want to ask you that if you agree uh, to this call to action that I have just said, that you raise your hand with me and say, I choose to challenge. And I'm gonna ask Santosh and someone from the team to capture each and every one of us as we raised our hands and we say, I choose to challenge. Let's open our videos. I so choose to challenge. Where we say, I choose to challenge. I, I choose to challenge. I choose to challenge. I choose to challenge. Okay, let's raise our hands and then I'm going to say three, two, one, and then we say, I, I, choose, I choose to challenge. Three, I, I choose to challenge. I, I, I choose to challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I,
To leave you with my favorite poem, um, it is by Marianne Williamson. It used to be Nelson Mandela's favorite. The poem that I live my life by, it goes, Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light and not our darkness that frightens us the most. We ask ourselves, who am I to be gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightening about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. You were born to shine as children do. You were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within you. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. And as we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically liberates others. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mela. It was uh, amazing. I think uh, we all enjoyed the uh, Choose to Challenge uh, picture, right? <laughs> it was amazing. So let me uh, call one more uh, very special guest who is the President of Macedonian Chambers of Commerce and she's a cha International Chamber of Commerce National Office. Let me invite uh, Daniela, Daniela Asoska uh, proudly on this International Women's Day to address us and uh, may I request ma'am to keep it a little short because we are running out of time. Uh, well, uh, first of all, I have to tell you that it's my really great honor to be able to be here today and just to honor all of these fabulous women, especially because it's on such a relevant date as today. We celebrate the International Day of Women. And I have to tell you that we were talking about a lot about the women empowerment yesterday uh, and the day before about the women in trade and how it's really important that women get economically empowered as well, not only to be able to have equal rights and equal opportunities. So I'm really, really honored. I'm really fascinated when I can see the great examples of women throughout the world, which are actually just living proof that we can always do and achieve more. And I'm thank you. I'm hoping that I'll be able to maybe one day soon uh, meet you in person and have the opportunity to discuss, exchange some opinions and also exchange some of the know-how we have gathered throughout the years. So thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Darla. Let's uh, go to the awards function. Let's get into the celebration. We have a very special person with us today to help us in this uh, job, sir. Uh, Mr. Job Thomas, he is an integral part of CMSME. He has been working tirelessly for the last, uh, I think, few weeks to make our Women in Trade uh, Global event a grand success. So I can see, let's invite Dr. Lopa Mudra Basu. You can uh, switch on your video and... Beauty lies in the eyes. Power lies in the mind. Knowledge and technology does not discriminate on gender. So limit is beyond the sky. Happy Women's Day. Namaskar. It's really a great honor to be part of this elite group of women who are strong and continuously empowering the world. Also, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all our male allies, Shantosh, GCPIT, and all organizer of the event for bringing us together and creating a platform through which we can continuously able to interact and spread the light. Thank you. 
Congratulations, Dr. Lopa. It was amazing having you with us. And next, uh, let's move to the next. I think uh, I'll congratulate everybody together at the end. Let's move fast, job, sir, since uh, the time is moving very fast. There already. Yes. Let me proudly invite Uma Rao. Ms. Uma Rao, over to you. Hello, uh, good evening, or whatever time it is for people across the globe. Uh, a warm hello and very happy to be here. Thank you very much, CISM, MSME, and this organization for having considered such a royal platform for women to be recognized. It's a lot of hard work, so congratulations. Very happy to be here and deeply honored from the bottom of my heart, um, you know, to be a recipient of this award. I just want to say one thing, coming from the land that I am in India, there's a very famous... Uh, shloka, a couplet which says uh, that uh, where women are honored, divinity blossoms there. And where women are dishonored, all action, no matter how noble, remain unfruitful. And therefore, it's the time for women to be blossoming for glory and achieving everything that they have to. And therefore, choose to challenge, choose everything that you want to do in your life. So thank you very much once again, and uh, really honored. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Umarao. Congratulations. It has come. Yes. Ms. Rama Ennis, let me proudly invite Rama, ma'am. Are you there? OK. Thank you so much for uh, considering me for this award. It has been a long journey for me. I have uh, completed uh, 50 years of professional life. And it has been a glorious one, you know, with its own challenges and successes. And uh, I really want to, uh, you know, want more and more young, young women in leadership. And uh, for that, the efforts and, you know, um, efforts should start early, early in life. And you have to create a brand equity for yourself for being you know, a thorough professional, and you really should enjoy what you're doing, then definitely you will reach to the top. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ramama. I'm really, really proud to have you here and uh, to know your amazing journey. So Thank you. congratulations, and let's move on to the next. Ms. Kavita Harish, requesting Ms. Ms. Kavita Harish. Yes, over to you, Okay, um, first of all, um, thank you for this recognition and a special call out to uh, Santosh and uh, GCPIT team uh, for recognizing me uh, for this award. Um, and uh, I know all of us have gone through uh, a lot of uh, things. Uh, we have our own journeys. Uh, I have an Indian Navy experience and now into the corporate world. Uh, I'm really humbled and honored uh, to receive this award. Uh, all that I can say on this particular occasion is uh, let's continue to be bold. Uh, let's continue to be strong. Let's continue to be passionate. And uh, this year, uh, the Women's Day uh, theme has been um, choose to challenge. Very inspiring um, theme, I would say. So let us to choose to challenge for the right reasons at the right time. So I wish you all the very best and good luck, everyone. And thanks once again for this recognition. Thank you so much, Ms. Kavita. Let's continue to connect and let's keep doing uh, great things together. Thank you so much. Uh, next, uh, we have Ms. Sangeeta Shankaran Shumesh. Ms. Sangeeta. Namaste. So thank you very much, CIMSME team and the GCPIT. It's uh, such an honor and privilege to be recognized on this platform. And uh, my message to all the women achievers is that we need to see how we can maximize our strengths so that we can keep growing, you know, more and more and, you know, achieve a lot more. As a business coach, what I say is fly high. That is finance, leadership, and your high performance is what is going to, you know, make us soar further and further. And I truly hope that there will be a day when we are all recognized for our achievements and not just based on gender. So, I look forward and so excited to connect with all of you and wishing you all the very best of high performance in whatever that you do. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sangeeta. That was really fantastic. And that uh, are the words from our gain enabler. Thank you so much. Thank and you. next is uh, Ms. Priyadarshini Bharat. Let me invite Hello. Ms. Yeah, yes, Ms. I'm here. Hello, all. 
First of all, congratulations to all the wonderful women on this platform here. And not just to us, but to all the women across the globe who are trying to achieve it in their own stride. Thank you for this committee for making this wonderful event happen. And I'd like to first thank my family for being a great pillar of support and strength to me uh, to achieve and balance my personal and professional life. Started off from a software career to HR, to quality, to cybersecurity, information security. The journey um, thus uh, 25 years and still hoping to go long as long as it is fated or designed to be. I thank all my mentors, employers, my team for having given me this opportunity to be uh, successful in my career. And um, yes, of course, uh, I was hired at Food Hub during the peak of COVID. And I should thank the management of Food Hub where we never wanted to lay off people and we still kept hiring. And I'd um, like to comment that from a ratio of 75 to 25 between men to women today, we are at 40, 60, which means that yes, we are striving to get more women there. And um, yes, I commit that I choose to challenge like always. Congratulations once again to each of us here and to all the women around the globe. Thank you, team. That's amazing. That's amazing. Really amazing. And uh, thank you so much, Pradarshini, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And next, let me call uh, Ms. Lekha Satish. Ms. Lekha, over to you. Hello, good afternoon or good evening to all. Thank you. It's an honor to be part of this awesome group of women. Uh, this is just not uh, my win. It's a win of my mother, grandmothers, and all the ladies who have supported uh, in this uh, journey for the you know, Indian women uh, to be there working in power with all the other genders. And uh, also, I'd like to thank some of the male colleagues who have been helping me find a footing in this industry. Now, this is the digital era. This is the era for women. So I wish that all the queens here wear their crowns proudly and uh, use all, all the things which have been associated with us in a not so positive manner, multitasking, that, you know, the, all those things in the best manner, innovate and you know, proudly go ahead and uh, lay the path for others to follow. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Likha. Uh, let's uh, continue the journey together. Let me call Ms. Shefali Sonpar. Ms. Shefali. Is Ms. Shefali there? Okay, job sir, let's move to the next. Ms. Yasmin, Yasmin Sheikh. Let me invite uh, Ms. Yasmin Sheikh for her. Yeah. Um, can you hear me? Yes. yes, we can hear. Yeah. Hi, uh, good evening, everyone, um, and everyone across the world. Namaste from Namma Bengaluru. Uh, thank you so much, Aparna, Santosh, uh, GCPIT, and CIM SME. Uh, we combine it, as you call it now, for this esteemed recognition and award recognizing women leaders across the world. I'm truly honored and feel privileged to be here today among such accomplished, amazing women leaders across the world and to accept this award today as a part of the Women Leaders uh, Leadership Awards uh, Program 2021. This means a lot to me and it's very humbling and gratifying for me to receive this award today. I would like to thank, and I thank my family for their fabulous unconditional support, uh, amazing leaders, mentors, teams, friends, and well wishers I have in my life to help me get here. I'd like to share a quote from Ayn Rand. The question isn't who's going to let me, it is who's going to stop me. I think that's something that we all should follow. And I think it's, it's a great way for us to you know, pave our way forward. And as I close, special thanks to Santosh, Aparna, and GCPIT team for, for providing such an outstanding platform for women leaders across the world globally and celebrating the success of women leaders. It's amazing to see how you know, your hard work in the last few days um, has brought together the entire world together. So kudos to you and your teams. Thank you very much and congratulations to my fellow women leaders too. Have a great evening. Bye. Thank you so much, Yasmin, for sharing that quote. Amazing quote. Nothing is going to stop us. And let me <laughs> go ahead. Thank you. Next uh, awardee, Ms. Dabobita Masumdar. She is the chairperson for uh, WE Vertical. Nabobita, over you. Ms. Nabobita, are you there? Yes, job sir, let's move to the next. 
Ms. Ayanti Gurusinghe. Let me proudly invite Ms. Ayanti for her address. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. And uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Ayanti Gurusinghe, all the way from Sri Lanka. I just want to take this opportunity to tell very humbly thank you for CIMSME and uh, GCPIT for giving me uh, this award and the recognition, which really I value. And also I want to, uh, I want to thank the entire team, Aparna and Mr. Santosh and everyone behind screens for all the hard work done and for the patience that they've had, the interviews they carried out. It's so much great and it's very encouraging to see how uh, women, not just in India, but across the globe is being recognized. And it's a great opportunity I see to see all my sisters and how well this entire award ceremony is managed to bring all type of women, all type of women in different services together. So it's great and I'm encouraged and I will definitely carry this flame uh, in my country and all at places where I work. Just want to end with a one quote to say, if you, to ask a woman what she uh, cannot, uh, what she can do is to ask her what she cannot do. So that's the power of women that we all share and congratulations to all sisters across the globe and thank you once again for the lovely award. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so you, much. You, madam, your video was off. So can you just come on video so that I can take a screenshot? Uh, my video says you cannot start the video because the host has stopped it. Oh, no. I have not stopped it. Anyhow, uh, so no problem. Okay. So shall we? Maybe you can pick a picture that you already have. I just can't wait. Proceed, proceed, proceed. Yeah. So let's move. Dr. Pona Malik, over to you. All right, I got it, I think. Just pleasure. one video to see. Yeah. Okay. Yes, always a pleasure, pleasure to have you. <laughs> over to you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Aparna, and uh, thank you, Santosh. On the occasion of uh, International Women's Day 2021, I would like to spotlight all the budding female brilliant scientists, entrepreneurs, business leaders, innovators, investors, and home builders that are there. You can't be what you can't see. Seeing is believing. That one sentence captures the whole uh, essence of diversity and inclusion debate for me. 2021 has been a very hard and challenging year for us all. Due to pandemic, inequalities have in, uh, increased further and this has increased divide. So let's take a pledge as we mark 2021 International Women's Day that our efforts increase beyond just one day a year. Let's think every day how our actions can help achieve diversity, gender equality and better inclusion. Let's build a better pipeline of uh, women leaders and let's create that they are the role models for future generations. So thank you very much for celebrating this success of all the global women leaders. I would like to congratulate them all and also thank everybody that stood behind them and we are standing on shoulders of giants. So thank you GCPIT and thank you Santosh for creating this platform and spotlighting all the women leaders. Thank you Dr. Poonam and let's have uh, Ms. Jane Morrison-Ross. Ms. Jane, are you there? Ms. Jane? Okay, let's have uh, Dr. Irina Berman. Let's move on to the next, Ms. Olga, Ter Olga Tetlina. Are you there? Yes, I think she is there. You are muted. Can you please unmute? Yes, I am here. Thank and you. my name is Olga Cetlina. Thank you. Thank you very much. And really, I don't expect such a wonderful woman uh, around. And thank you very much for recognition. And for the, it's a big honor, actually, for me. Uh, being Russian origin and living more than 20 years in Netherlands, I really met a lot of professionals all over the world. And I'm happy to be part of our community and looking forward for our mutual 
power future together and to make our world better. This is actually what could be goal, more, more uh, final and good goal for us. And um, hope to see you soon in real life. Yeah, hopefully next year, maybe we will organize something. And thank you very much for organization for organizing this beautiful event. Thank you, thank Ms. You. Olga. Let's have De Ms. Deborah Thompson. Over to you, Ms. Deborah. Ms. Thompson, are you there? Next, we have Ms. Arti Savur. Ms. Arti? Next, we have Ms. Chiara Milani from Italy. Ms. Chiara, are you there? Yes. You are on mute. Yes, I'm there. Yes, Ms. Chiara, over to you. Can you see me? Yes, yes. I can oh, see you. Great. Can hear. great, great. First of all, namaste, greetings from Italy. It's uh, great to be here with you today. Thanks so much uh, for uh, this uh, nomination. It's truly really an honor and a pleasure uh, for me. On uh, this uh, very special day, in this very challenging year, yes, I choose uh, to challenge. I choose uh, to challenge as all. I know here we are really all ladies, although luckily not just ladies, because we have the support of a great man. But uh, I choose to challenge us all to work together, not uh, women against men, but hand in hand for achieving truly an equal future in a COVID-19 world. Together, I have no doubt we can make it happen. Thanks so much. In my own language, grazie mille. Thank you so much. Yes. Everyone, first of all, thank you so much. It's truly honoring and humbling at the same time to be recognized among such accomplished women from all over the world. Thank you so much. Uh, on this great day, I would only like to share one more single thought is, we don't need magic to change the world. In fact, we all have all the power inside us to make that happen. What it takes is to believe in ourselves. And I that all women here being recognized have done already that. They believe their inner strength. And now thank you so much to the GCPIT team and the SME team to bring all of us together to share our ideas, our voice, so we can and help our women and people and peers around us to recognize and believe in themselves. And that's when the change to everyone. Uh, next, we want to Sumi Gambir. Miss Sumi Gambir. Hi, um, everyone. Uh, Aparna, just checking that I'm audible and the video yes, is coming. Yes, yes, perfect. Okay, wonderful. So firstly, uh, many congratulations to uh, all the awardees uh, on this list. And thank you, GCPI team, um, so Mr. Santosh, Aparna, and all the members who have worked very hard to bring this event to life. I think it's really days like today, events like today when... Uh, you know, we, we realize that while on a daily basis, we go through our grind, our through struggle, accomplishments, but it's, it's on uh, events like this that we realize we are really a speck in the ocean. And it's wonderful to see the achievements of these hundred uh, women as a part uh, of this uh, awardee list. And it's extremely uh, inspiring to be and humbling rather to be as a part of these hundred. Thank you so much uh, for the recognition and for creating a community of uh, women achievers as well. Thank you, Ms. Sumi. Let's move on to Dr. Lopamudra Das Roy. Dr. Yes, uh, I, I'm audible, right? Yes, yes perfect. Okay. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. It's really humbling and I'm so honored to be here and receive recognition. For gratitude to GCPIT, Mr. Santosh, Aparna, and each and every person involved uh, with a flawless execution. Heartfelt thanks to each of you. And also it's an incredible honor to be here amongst all these accomplished women. And uh, I'm, I mean, I'm it's, each day is a learning process and you all inspire me to keep going. And um, 
I would like to um, end by really my, um, by thanking and receiving this honor uh, with a tribute to my dad, uh, who I lost last year, and also to each woman uh, we lost to cancer. And this is for you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Lopa. Let's move on to Ms. Andrea Zapska. Zapska. Hi, Ms. everyone. Andrea. Is Hi. everything okay? Yes, perfect. All right. So first of all, thank you very much for the GCPIT team, uh, to Aparna and Santosh and the whole team for this amazing work. I'm following you and this is a great uh, teamwork. And I think uh, you are so good together that keep on this good job. And I'm really happy and honored to receive this award and I'm really thankful for the recognition. What I would like to say today is to I think it's the time to announce that we would like to, or if you would like to join me, then let's challenge the narrative and the definition of empowerment and economics today. We need to broaden our horizon and forget the labels and the judgments. Let's strive for more fairness and larger social and environmental impact. Ethics and compassion are equally important in economics and life, and at the end, the basic goal of economics is promoting greater happiness and less suffering. So women, all of us, we have the female energy so we can bring this fairness into the economics and we can encourage other women and also men to help us to be heard. And I think the International Women's Day is, an, uh, is uh, the best to announce this and to together we can, we can get there. <laughs> so thank you very much again for the recognition and I'm really humbled to be among all these amazing women. Thank you, Andrea, all the way from Malaysia. Next, we have Dr. Reema Ghosh Taudiri. Hello. Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Okay. Uh, so first of all, it's my proud privilege and honor to be here on this platform today. A big thank you to Santosh Aparna, GCPIT. So choose to challenge, I would say choose to challenge anything that could hold you back. That's my message for myself and for everyone. And a small poem that I've written, let me just share that. I accept everything about myself with humility and pride. My brilliance and my follies, my darkness and my light. My laughter and cries and the twinkle in my eyes. My strengths and my fears, I take them in my stride. So all you women out there, please celebrate yourselves. Life is a big celebration in itself. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Rima. Uh, next, we have uh, Leila McKenzie. Ms. Leila, are you there? Ms. Leila McKenzie. Next, we have Ms. Claudia Segre. Ms. Claudia, are you there? Yes, absolutely. Thank you so yes. much, first of all, to GCPIT, to Mrs. Aparna Kumar and Mr. Santosh, and just a few words uh, regarding this award and uh, very honored. And uh, we perfectly know that to achieve the dual track of tackling climate change through gender action, we must recognize women as economic, social, and political actors. So we, play, we are playing a crucial role by adopting new technologies, taking support in the tough decision that we need to stimulate action and sizing opportunities for a new greener economy that can bring. But first of all, I would like to say that we are currently working deeply to make sure that economic abuse against women and families is understood as an issue and that as a serious state, socioeconomic consequences to take in consideration. And in this Women International Day, we strongly follow fighting for a world without financial abuse, for a fair, prosperous and united future for all of us, women and men, and all together with the women participating to this incredible day and obtaining this award. Thank you so much. Thank you, Claudia. Now we have Ms. Cielo Hernandez. Hey, good morning, everyone. Good it's morning. an honor and pleasure to be here. Uh, thank you so much for this honor. Thank you for, uh, to Santos and team for the hard work. Um, this day we are celebrating the achievement of these uh, wonderful women. I wanted to thank you to my family, my fit, my former teams, and my mentors, everyone who has been contributed to my success in my career. Um, 
So congratulations to all of you and let's continue to uh, work hard and continue to lead uh, the next generation of women. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now let's have Ms. Teresa Blissing. Ms. Teresa, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Okay, um, well, first of all, thank you so much for the recognition and uh, congratulations to everyone. I am uh, super honored to receive this reward today and celebrate International Women's Day <laughs> with all of you amazing ladies. Um, but to be honest, I hope that maybe in the future we don't need this day anymore. Because if you are honest, this day only exists because there is simply no gender <laughs> equality in the world today. Male is still the default we are seeing globally. So um, my hope is that uh, being a woman in leadership will not be anything special anymore in a few years because we have actually achieved um, gender equality um, globally. And yeah, for, for this uh, International Women's Day, I choose to challenge all of us to help build the next generation of female leaders to help each other and uh, um, raise the next generation of amazing women. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Teresa. That's why we have formed the W Combinator. Uh, we will be celebrating Women's Day every day. So amazing. Let's, uh, Ms. Teresa, uh, uh, no, Ms. Dillian Godsell. Hello. Yes, Ms. Dillian, how are you? Okay, lady. welcome. Thank you indeed. Greetings from Ireland. I am delighted to be here. I don't think, is my video working? Yes, video is oh, perfect. Okay, I just asked. Oh, All right, okay, sorry. Anyway, greetings from Ireland. I'm very happy to be here. I'm very honored to be nominated. And I also want to congratulate all the other women who are also on this platform speaking today. And I want to recognize all the hard work that has gone into creating this uh, ceremony to thank GCPIT and Santosh and the partner yourself. Thank you indeed for all your hard work. So my question is, why is it important to celebrate International Women's Day? Um, we cannot be what we cannot see. Or conversely, we can be what we can see. So events like this are so important to showcase the achievement of women globally. And so while I hope, like the previous speaker, that in my lifetime, these ceremonies will become redundant or matter of fact, in the interim, may I say, be kind, be ambitious, be helpful, be passionate, and be present. And happy International Women's Day 2021 to everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Dillian. We have, uh, now we have Ms. Tavonia Evans. Ms. Tavonia, are you there? Next, we have Ms. Erika Krizan. Ms. Erika, are you there? Ms. Sophie Nanteza. Ms. Yadin Kagan. Ms. Yadin, are you there? Ms. Rachna Buzari. Ms. Sam Collins. Dr. Amina Ali. Ms. Esther Asante. Ms. Esther, are you there? Hello, Hello from Hello. Ghana. Um, thank you very much uh, for giving me this recognition. The first time Mr. Sancho contacted me last year, I was amazed to see that some people are watching. Um, and I want to tell my fellow women that whatever you are doing, which whatever seed you sow out there, it will grow. Um, people are watching, even if you think that they are not. And with this said, you have to keep on doing the right thing. Um, don't give up because you are possible. And yes, I always tell myself I am possible. So thank you once again. And to the team uh, GCPIT, um, keep it up and continue to um, acknowledge uh, women, great women like us. Thank you. 
Thank you, sir. Next time we move on to Dr. Rashi Gupta. Hello, Aparna ji. Thank you yes. so much. Uh, thank you, team uh, GCPIT, for giving me this opportunity. It's a pleasure and honor. And I'd just like to say that women are already powerhouses. We just need to discover and have a little more of soft power within us to actually change the whole scenario of what we are going to do in the next decade. The next decade is going to be something where women will bring the complete transformation of the entire, entire society and entire earth here to bring a new revolution into the world. So I look forward to this and uh, we have to work towards more of gender equality, like all my other, uh, for, like all the other uh, awardees and the women leaders have said, we need to have gender equality here. And I hope to work more on this. Thank you so much for this achievement. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rashi. Do, do we have Dr. Hina Shah? Uh, Doc, Dr. Hina? Yes. Congratulations to all the women leaders of the world. Santosh, you are, you are instrumental to bring all the leaders together. Generally, leaders are all alone. But to see that so many leaders are together, uh, it's a great pleasure. And humbly, I would, I would accept this acknowledgement from uh, GCPIT for my good work and I would like to say that when women become leaders it is an irreversible process. They remain leaders and the family, children becomes leaders. So again I would like to congratulate you for creating a very leadership oriented environment uh, in the world. Congratulations again and thank you very much for uh, offering this Acknowledgement and award to me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Hina. Next, we have uh, Ms. Ingrid Orozco. Yes, I'm here. Buenos dias. Yes. Good morning. Good evening and good night from Mexico, ladies and gentlemen. I'm extremely honored to be receiving such an important award. I'm really grateful to GCPIT, GCCER, and other member institutions. Santosh and Aparna for sure, because this represents to me the extension of my commitment to keep unleashing the economic power and integral potential of women all over the world. So I invite you all to be together to keep unlocking the doors to success and unblocking the avenues of opportunity for everyone. And please ladies, don't forget to dream big, inspire and act fast. Congratulations to the amazing women in here that we should celebrate every day, not just today. And thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Ingrid. Next, we move on to Ms. Rita Kakatisha. Ms. Rita. Hi, I'm here. Can you see yes. me? Yes. Oh, we also the same thing. Oh, no, it's a video. See you. Amazing. Oh, it's asking me to do it again. Okay. Thank you so much for this incredible honor. Thank you to Sandosh. Thank you to Aparna for this. I wanted to just say a quick few words. Basically, we all have that inner best of go getting inside all of us. We are that women with that internal spirit. The only thing that stops us right now is ourselves. So when we talk about choose to challenge, we must challenge our own beliefs and ourselves because we are the only ones that are stopping ourselves. Nothing can stop a woman on a mission. We have that inner goddess of go-getting. So let's take that spirit and let's unleash that inner goddess of go-getting inside ourselves. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rita. Yes, that's amazing. Let's unleash Uma within us. And let's move on to Ms. Lara Kalaf. Ms. Lara, are you there? Next, let's have Ms. Lori McNeil. I can see you now. Wonderful. Thank you so much for this honor. Um, it is a great privilege here amongst many wonderful um, women that have achieved so much. In the words of Maya Angelou, we delight in the beauty of the butterfly, but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. As far as the leadership study that um, and 
Okay. That was amazing. From on. <laughs> Let's move on now to Miss Vaishali Neokia. Vaishali, are you there? Yes, I'm just trying to. Can you see me? I'm. Yes, to... I can see you. Okay, perfect. So uh, yeah, I just want to thank uh, the organizers, Santosh, everyone who's uh, you know given me this tremendous honor, and I want to congratulate you for celebrating here today. Um, more power to all of you and more power to everyone who's doing their bit to be the change they want to see around them. Um, I have a message for all of us here today. Uh, one, with regards to our own selves. If we believe in something, let's not be afraid to stand up for it, even if it means we have to stand out. Um, two, with regards to the support of the ecosystem and other women, let's put out a helping hand and not a tripping foot. And third, um, with regards to the Eastern for inclusive world, let's remember that equity is the pit stop, but the destination is equality. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Aishali. Now let's move on to Dr. Ruby Bhakshikurri. Dr. Yes, Ruby? I'm here, but I'm not able to start my video. Yes. <laughs> yes, Mr. Santosh, please help. Yes, we can see you. <laughs> all right. Um, Wishing you all of you a very, very happy International Women's Day. Uh, I have been following since uh, I'm all you are doing amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much to Mr. Santosh and of course, Varna, to you for making this possible and having everyone on the same platform, sharing the joy, sharing the passion with everyone is connected here. I really feel honored and humbled sharing the platform with so many thoughtful leaders who are here. My message to all the people who are here is just one thing in the words of Oprah, think like a queen. A queen is never fail, is never afraid to fail because she thinks failure is a stepping stone to another great. Only when you have the passion within you, only when you believe in yourself, I can do it. Nothing is going to stop you. Nothing is going to stop the passion in you because you are in peace with your inner self. You have a mission. So just go for it. Do not be afraid of it. If you can, you can definitely do it. And of course, we have the you know, support and um, and they are connect more and more people. So just Keep connecting like-minded people because the more you connect, the more you share, and you'll be able to collaborate and have meaningful networks. Thank you so much, and hearty congratulations to all the awardees. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Ruby. Yes, I also have a lot to say about you and all the amazing ladies out here. But let's uh, keep uh, our time and on to the next. Uh, Miss Anna, Ms. Anna, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Let me try to put. Yes. Yes, we can see you. Am I visible? Yes, you are visible and you are audible. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you so much. First of all, uh, this recognition, which means that I have to work harder. That's all uh, recognitions and awards mean. And uh, I wholeheartedly congratulate GCPTI and uh, especially a man leading this women's forum. It's uh, a great job. I think uh, I should wish Santosha happy Women's Day first and then of course to Arpana and the rest of the team. <laughs> wish you all, all the best. Thank you so much. And uh, as we go for this year's theme, choose to challenge as a hashtag, uh, other than the women in leadership, uh, well, uh, leadership is, uh, it does not mean rank or what you are professionally, but it means, means that uh, what is an impact you can create for the uh, world and also for yourself to make yourself a better individual and a better professional and choose to challenge we should uh, challenge our status quo because uh, in the diversity level india still is a long long it needs to travel a long long way ahead and uh, what i would say is today this theme is uh, purple the color is purple so wear the color purple which means authority which means confidence which means establishing yourself with your head uh, held high thank, thank you, you so Ms. much Sandita. next we'll let, me, let us move on to Ms. Kriti. 
Thank you, Sanandita. Ms. Kritika. Next, uh, we have Dr. Srimati Keshan. Dr. Srimati, are you there? Next. Yes, Ms. I'm there. Yes, I yes. Me? Yes, uh, we can see you. I'm so happy. Happy Women's Day to all of you across the globe. I mean, a great platform where, you know, so many women are brought under one umbrella. My God, what an immense work from uh, Mr. Suntosh and Aparna. I could see yesterday, you know, every time there is a ring in my mobile and I see some update or the other, you know, they've been working so hard for the last two, three days to make us so happy. And I hope this journey continues in collaborating across the globe. And uh, congratulations, GCPIT, for a fantastic job. And as Anandita mentioned, I would, I think she's stolen my words. You know, I wanted to congratulate uh, Santosh, Mr. Santosh for this, for leading a women's forum. You know, they say there is a woman behind every man's success, but I think behind all our success, Mr. Santosh is there. So thank you so much once again for this honor and a happy Women's Day. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Srimati. Next we have Ms. Gayatri Choda. Ms. Gayatri, are you there? Next, uh, we have Ms. Sujata Mukhobadhyay. Ms. Sujata? Let's move on to Ms. Aparna Vishwanathan. Hi, Aparna. Can you see? Hi, Aparna. Can yes. Hi, Aparna. Yes. I can see you. Hi from Aparna to Aparna. Yes, yes. Hi, everyone. It's indeed an honor to be among such amazing women. For me, uh, personally, this is first on an international platform and it feels quite overwhelming. Thank you so much, Aparna, Santosh. I mean, a man behind, uh, uh, I mean, like everyone said, uh, all the amazing women here. So um, uh, remembering my parents here who I lost to cancer, who actually raised me to become who I am today. Uh, what I have to tell you is during the pandemic, I had initiated a, a campaign called Together We Can, bringing people together uh, to support and help each other. I think it, it achieves its highest meaning today on this platform when we all are together, uh, supporting each other, uh, understanding each other, encouraging each other. Uh, let us all, while we choose to challenge individually, uh, what I have to say, I, what I have to tell you is that let's all come together, breaking every gender barrier, every gender definition for larger causes and impact. Together we can and together we shall. Amazing, lovely evening and Women's Day to everyone present here on this platform today. Thank you so much, Aparna and Santosh, once again, and thank you to your team, too. Thank you, Aparna. Next, we have Ms. Sangeeta Bojapa. Good evening, everybody. Am I audible? Yes, Is you are good? audible, visible, right. Thank you so much for this honor. Um, I, it is a, a great uh, privilege to be uh, recognized, to, to my vertical as a Farmers to be recognized. Farming has always been the backseat. But now I guess things will change. I uh, really choose to challenge the image of, a, of the woman from the working, from the cooking or the feeding or the growing towards the farmer side or towards the business farmer side of farming. And uh, like a, a, a very famous quote says, you know, she's everything, then she's treated like nothing by Hedgen's then. This, this is the most important uh, uh, aspect of our uh, generation. This generation is going to play a huge role. Let's purple the passion, let's purple our purpose, and let's put it. I echo everybody's words, Aparna and Santosh. If, if somebody is not able to uh, achieve uh, any order or anything, they have to come to you guys for training, the patience, perseverance, and the way you follow up, and the kind of Best you have day in and out, you know, coordinating, uh, communicating, and follow up. Keep it up, guys. You uh, guys will achieve what you have put it in for. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Sankita. Next, we move on to Ms. Francisca No. 4. Ms. Francisca, are you there?
Next, we have Ms. Faith C. Titus. Ms. Faith, are you there? I'm here. Good afternoon, everyone. Can you see my yes, video? Yes, sir. Are you? No. Okay. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening from wherever okay. you're watching from. My name is Faith Titus. I'm speaking all the way from Nigeria. Uh, I want to say a very big thank you to the TPIT and especially to Ms. Faith, I think uh, we are losing you. There is some connectivity issue. I think let's move on to Ms. Ida. Ms. Ida Inganga. Uh, yes, I'm here. Yes, can you Ida. see me? Yes, I can see you. Okay, thank you so much, Madam Aparna, for that uh, introduction. Um, hi, everyone, and happy Women's Day. Hi. Really, really excited. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. All right. Yeah. Um, it's really, really exciting to be amongst such wonderful, awesome, great, groundbreaking women. And it's just not only an honor, but I think it's also a very exciting time for us, even after COVID, to be able not only to be recognized for the great work we've done, but to be able to govern as Thank you so much, everyone. I would like to thank uh, my team at uh, Africa, my team at UNESCO, Emerging Technologies, my team at GCPIT, uh, where we, we launched the startup innovation programs, which are really doing amazing. I'm just feeling that there's a role for everyone and the power that you have, the skills and gifts might be different, but when we come together, we are truly unstoppable. We don't have to be the same or do the exact same things. But one thing is for sure, all of us, when we come together, are the complete package. So thank you so much, my fellow wonderful women leaders. And thank you to GCPIT Global Team, Santosh and Aparna. Thank you. Thank amazing. you so much, Ms. Aida. Next, we move on to Ms. Harita Vinakota. Hello. Um, greetings yeah. from Germany. I am really honored and humbled for this recognition, but I would like to mention that uh, uh, GCPIT and W Combinator's recognition is not only for our accomplishment, but uh, they're also bestowing upon us the duty to extend our hands and throw the door wide open to other women who are stepping into the world of technology and business. Um, and I want to thank uh, Santosh, Aparna, and team for this unique initiative. And uh, happy International Women's Day to all the beautiful people. And that was 30 seconds, right, Aparna? Thank you. Yes, I can. Can yes, everyone hear ahead. me? Yes. Can you see the video as well? Yes. Go ahead. OK. Well, thank you so much for um, the award. And I think uh, this goes out as a dedication to all past generation women uh, together with the present generation women and to those that are the future generation of women for being unstoppable, uh, for literally showing up, for supporting and for speaking up for like minded women. Um, I choose to challenge society to continue to do the same, to show up to support and to speak up. Um, here's to keep honoring you and here is to being the best you possible. So thank you very much to GCPIT for Aparna and Santosh and the team. Um, this is uh, quite an emotional moment. So thank you very much. Thank you, Levina. Let's go on to Ms. Fumza Dhyani. Ms. Fumza, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Thank you very much, Aparna. Uh, thank you very much to the GCPI team. Santosh, you are a true visionary and a part of the amazing work you've put in such a short time. I'd like to celebrate today with the words of the UN Executive Director, Mzilim Lambunuka, she's from South Africa. She says, no country prospers without the engagement of women. We need women's representation that reflects all women 
girls in all their diversity, their abilities, the cross-cultural, social, economic, and political situations. This is the only way we will get real societal changes that incorporate women in decision-making as equals and benefits us all. So today is a true celebration that there is starting to be a recognition of women. And we thank you, Santosh, for spearheading such a, a big cause. What I would like to challenge the women today is, let us understand our areas of power. Let us use the joint and the collective commercial power that we have. Women are the best shoppers. Women shop in retail. We, we contribute about 55% of the, 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 the economic um, contribution in retail as women because we shop, we do the groceries, we shop for kids. Let us use that as our power to negotiate what we want to see. Enough with the matches, the matches have done their part, but let's use what is tangible power. Thank you very much and congratulations to all the women. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Fumza. Next we have Ms. Nomtanda So Mupande. Uh, hello. Yes, I can hear you, but I am not able to see you, Santoshi. One minute. Next. Okay. Yeah, so you can go ahead with the camera. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Uh, it's a great honor from all the way from South Africa. Um, I would like to thank GCPIT and the leadership uh, for uh, giving us these awards amongst all these wonderful women. Uh, for me, this uh, talks to inclusion, especially what we drive. We drive smart engineering, for, especially for people with disabilities. This puts us in the map to do more. And I would like to thank you and celebrate this International Women's Day with you, uh, with all the wonderful women uh, in this platform. And I want to say, together, we can do more. Thank you very much. I appreciate this. Thank you so much. And I uh, will uh, together do more, as you said. And let's move on to Ms. Zine Kukwana. Ms. Zine? Um, hi, Aparna. Can you, hi. can you see yes, me? Yes, I can see you. I can hear you. Right. No, thank you so much. At first, I'd like to thank um, the organizers of, of, of this event. Uh, thank you so much, um, Santosh, Aparna, and your team. Um, about well, like I to thank everyone who has supported me in my journey, uh, my family, my friends who are here today. And um, thank you so much. It has been a very long journey to being recognized at this level. But what I'd like to challenge us today, I'm choosing to challenge each and every one of us who has been awarded to keep shining your light with humility whilst lifting others up in this very long journey and lonely one, I must add, as women. We need to pass on the baton to the next generation through mentorship and coaching whilst never leaving anyone behind. Let us make what they say, lift as you rise, um, saying become tangible and others must learn from us. When you assist the next woman, you're actually contributing to the global economy because as Pumza has said, women hold the buying, the buying power. We all know that. Let us love one another enough to share the knowledge we have with those who are thirsty for it. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, everyone. And um, happy International Women's Day to everyone. Thank you. Now let's have Ms. Nomza Teleko. Ms. Nomza? Videos. Uh, next, we have uh, Ms. Lucy Gesmerarian. Ms. Lucy, are you there? Yes, Ms. Achia Nila. I saw Nila there. Okay. Yes, next we have Ms. Jeanette Udo. Ms. Jeanette? Can you send yes. my video, please? I'm here. Thank, thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone from Lagos, Nigeria. I am extremely honored to our global women leadership. Great opportunity and recognition I have received for my work. 
as women, we face challenges, but each of them only strengthens us to make us the person we are today. It has also made me a thought professional who knows exactly what she wants, someone who sets her eyes on the only goal and does not lose sight of it unless it is achieved. Winning this award would not have been possible without the support and inspiration I have also received from other women I admire and their support as well, for whom I have the deepest respect and from whom I have derived the strength to challenge myself and perform better at each stage. I sincerely thank everyone and the GCPI team for creating this moment where we can proudly hold up this award as a mark of our achievements. I only promise to get better at my work so you can see more of me here on such awards. Thank you and happy International Women's Day to everyone. And as an innovation leader, I choose to challenge the gender and the diversity gap in innovation. Congratulations to all the powerful women here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jeanette. Uh, we want you all always here, not just for the awards, always be here with us. <laughs> we will do wonders together. Uh, is Ms. Achia there? Ms. Achia Nila? Let's move on to Ms. Tabata Lavati. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. My video should be up. I'll be brief. Greetings from Canada. I'm really excited to be here with all of you this morning. Thanks for your inspiring quotes and all your wonderful uh, messages and LinkedIn notes to me. I really do appreciate it. It's an honor to be included with you, um, including some wonderful women that I know personally who are part of our innovation ecosystem here in Canada. Um, I'm looking forward to connecting with you guys further and uh, congratulations to everybody on the call. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's move on to Ms. Um, Leila Saidzadi. Ms. Leila, are you there? Hi, I'm Hi. here. Yes, great. Uh, but I think my camera is not working. Okay. It's on. It's on. I can see you. Okay. You? I can um, see you. Okay. So I will be also short. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for gathering all this, all smart, uh, active women uh, all together and creating this network. This is uh, actually very important indeed. And uh, she for she uh, is a great idea um, of all the times. This is what I always say. So um, I wish you all uh, to be full of energy, commitment, and, uh, and ideas. Thank you so much. This is very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lela. Now we have Ms. Rima Sani Madreta. Ms. Rima. Namaste, everyone. First of all, a big shout out for all the wonderful and strong women leaders over here and wishing every woman a very happy Women's Day. First of all, I would like to thank Aparna Ji, Santosh Ji, and entire team at uh, GCPIT for recognizing us for the, with this award. And uh, further, I would like to thank my organization, ITTO, FITT, IIT Delhi, my management, Dr. Wali, Ms. Bhatia, my colleagues, my loving family and friends. My message to all the women across the world is to believe in the concept of sisterhood and support other women in uplifting. By this way, we can create our own niche and it, we will be able to change the mindset of our society towards women in leadership. Thank you everyone, last but not the least. Congratulations to all the women leader who are getting this award today. Thank you everyone. Thank you, Ms. Vima. Next we have Ms. Claudia Olmedo. Good morning from El Salvador, everyone. I'm really honored to be receiving this award and, and congratulations, congratulations to all of the women that are here, but also all the women that move forward and, and are working hard to recover from the COVID pandemic uh, that has hit our, uh, us women harder. Um, I, I, I think we should use this space to reflect not only in our, on our opportunities, but also our privileges. And I challenge everyone to think and use their spaces to make a more equitable world for all girls and women around the world. May 
we access uh, to the same opportunities, but also basic services that allow um, women and girls to thrive in this world. So let's use this energy, this global energy, to empower other women that think of all those women that are in vulnerable situations. Uh, let's think and how we can make a more sustainable, equitable, and egalitarian future for all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Claudia. Next, let's have Dr. Ingrid Vasiliou Filters. Dr. Ingrid, are you there? Yes. Thank you so much. It is a great honor to be part of this uh, distinguished group. I echo all the beautiful, inspiring sentiments that were already mentioned for the past hour. I would like to thank the organizing team. I know it takes so much work and absolutely no sleep to put an event this scale together. So I really appreciate everything that you did for us and acknowledging our work. Um, the only thing I would add uh, maybe is that we hope to extend this empowering message also to young girls and young aspiring leaders. I would like to share with them a personal message to never listen to anybody that tells you something is not possible. I was told that all my life and I was able to prove them wrong. And then a quote that uh, I like very much uh, that I think it, it fits our occasion today. And that is that uh, you should confidently go and follow your dreams and do not uh, worry if anybody tells you it's impossible. Thank you so much for having me and I'm really honored to be part of this wonderful group. I hope that we can all see each other once in person when, when the situation changes. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Ingrid. And let's move on to Ms. Karen Ariola. Ms. Karen, are you there? Let's move on to the next, uh, Ms. Andrea Hofmeyer. Ms. Andrea, are you there? Yes, okay. So let's move on to Ms. Abir Sasi. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I can see, I can't see the video. Um, great. So thank you very much for this uh, nice opportunity. Um, I'm Abir Sasi from Tunisia. And as a child, I loved fashion and I loved trying different outfits. So I became a textile engineer to contribute to the industry and I did it for 10 years with rich international experience, during which I have realized that the industry goals were to attract customers and make profits. A very little folks was given to the planet and people, despite of the huge environmental impact that apparel industry has. So I decided to challenge and make the change. I'm now an entrepreneur and I have my own company ASA that focus on helping enterprises getting started in the sustainability journey by working on the 17 SDGs. I challenge myself from hoping for change to become a change maker and I invite you to do the same. Happy Women's Day and thank you so much Aparna and Santos for this great opportunity and for the great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Ms. Sabir. Next we have Ms. Carla Holder. Ma'am, Carla, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I just am having the problem with the video. Yes, ah, I can I see am. you. Perfect. Thank you, GCPIT, Santosh, and Aparna for this recognition. I would not be here today without the strong women of my family and the encouragement of my father and grandfather. Congratulations to all these wonderful awardees. Thanks to Andrea Hoffmeyer for bringing me into the UN Sustainable Development Goal Corporate Guidebook Series. Our SGG5 team on gender equality is forming now. If we all work together, we can change the world. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Kala. Now let's have Ms. Beth Howell. Ms. Beth, are you there? Can you Yes, I'm yes. here. Can you see me? Yes, yes, yes. I can see you. Greetings from the United States, the Washington, D.C. area. Thank you, Santosh, Aparna, and the GCPI team for this recognition and for creating this phenomenal event with global women leaders. Thank you to my friends, my family, my Sherpa Institute colleagues. Thank you for helping me along my journey. I'm honored and I'm also humbled to share this award recognition 
with this diverse group of amazing and talented women. Congratulations to my co-awardees. May we all continue to be successful in our journey and the overall mission of raising up and empowering women. We're all sisters. Our diversity only makes us stronger. If I help you and you help me, we will all get to the top. And Santosh, thank you for helping us much like a brother would a sister, you're looking out for us. And I personally thank you for that. So everyone, I choose to challenge. Only when we challenge can change occur. So thank you again for this award and happy International Women's Day, everyone. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Beth. Uh, Nit, now let's have Ms. Kala Jitsan. Ms. Kala, are you there? Ms. Carla? Now let's have Ms. Christina Scott. Hello, greetings and gratitude. Yes. Hello. Happy hello? Yes, hello, Ms. Christina. Hello, greetings and gratitude from Scotland and a happy International Women's Day 2021 to you all. What a privilege and really humbled to receive this award. And my thanks to everyone, particularly my family, my mum and my husband, um, to Aparna, Mishma and Santosh, um, and everyone at GCPIT and SISME who have made this possible. And to Puna Malik and Carla Holder for including me and giving me this opportunity to be engaged in such a wide and phenomenal network. So I choose to challenge equality through inclusion climate change through collaboration and poverty through opportunity and business and we do this and will continue to do this to empower global to local parity and prosperity for people and planet through purpose with you all really humbled to share this space with each of you phenomenal women and my gratitude for your partnership and allyship and to be a voice for others who have yet to reach such platforms just to leave you in the words of Maya Angelou, courage is the most important of all virtues because without courage, you can't practice any other virtue consistently. You can practice any virtue erratically, but nothing consistently without courage. So be courageous, be there for each other and look forward to working with you all. Thank you. Thank you, Christina. Let's have Ms. Daria Uzum. Uh, hello, could you help me please open my account? Yes, video. Santoji, help with the video. Thank you. Okay. Hello, everyone, and thank you for this amazing opportunity and privilege to nominate it for the award. I'm very humbled and honored. And congratulations to every single woman leader all around the world. There is no doubt that you all achieve amazing things. Being a leader is not always about uh, accomplishing uh, great things. Being able to manage your own life, own decisions is sometimes the greatest leadership. I recommend every woman to be a leader in her own life. It is an undeniable fact that there are issues that we only encounter as women. And we might recognize these issues as a different phase, in a di different geography or different times. And sometimes the issue might be uh, like child marriage, sometimes disability, sometimes barriers to receiving education, and sometimes a uh, gender, uh, gender gap might uh, pay gap. Although the phases which we may encounter are different, our essence is the same. And being aware of this, we act in unity and trust. Don't let your gender interfere with you what you want to be. Try turning this into a source that drives you to the better. And do not hesitate to lift up other women to achieve this happy International Women's Day. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Ginger Rocky Johnson, are you there? Let's move on to Ms. Ipshita Sen. Ipshita, are you there? I am. Hi. Yes, hi. Can you see me? 
Yes, I can see you. Hi. Uh, Aparna, I want to start by saying you're doing such a fantastic and fabulous job. Uh, congratulations mm -hmm. for bringing you, all of these, uh, these inspirational oh. women. It is such an honor. Thank you so much. And I, the next thing I want to say is Santosh, you can teach the world a thing or two about being a male ally. Uh, in this fight for gender parity and, and equity. Thank you so much for doing what you do. Um, Ms. Shifali, can you please uh, mute? And uh, I just want to say that there are so many women here who are doing such fantastic things. And, and of course, the next decade, we will see big change. Um, and one of the things that I would love for you to challenge along with me, uh, let us choose to challenge the narrative of leadership that exists today uh, and, and create an environment where, to quote briefly the words of a very famous Indian poet, Rabindranath Tagore, let us create an environment where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. Thank you so much for this honor. Thank you, Ipshita. Now let's have uh, Ms. Indrani De Silva. Ms. Indrani, are you there? Now let me invite Ms. Pavitra Rao. Ms. Pavitra, are you there? Next, uh, we have Ms. Dr. Michelle Prince. Dr. Michelle, are you there? Yes, hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah, so uh, I'll go ahead and sorry, the video is still not letting me turn on. Uh, but thank you very much, everybody, for this honor and congratulations to all the honorees. It's been wonderful listening to your message uh, this morning. Uh, we're all part of being this change. We all want to see throughout the world. And I believe it was Mahatma Gandhi who first said that, be the change you want to see. And it and his young man, no message could have been any clearer. If you want to see, take a look at yourself and make the change, and that's what we're doing. And many of us started out in a wave of change, but yet here we are, and we have to continue. And it's incredibly inspiring to be part of this group and to be celebrating our achievements so far and sharing this honor with all of those who helped us get here to where we are. But what is even more inspiring is the thought of how we can accomplish and what we can accomplish in the future with each other, with our advocates like, and men like Mr. Santosh and others who understand the importance of collaborating to achieve our dreams for all women and all people around the world. We must rise to continue to be role models for the next generation and i commit to doing that and thank you everybody for being part of this thank you so much uh, dr michelle prince um, now let's have miss lisa cashmore happy international women's day from canada i am honored to be acknowledged alongside this incredible group of women today i'm especially grateful to work for communitech where I have been given endless opportunities for growth and have been treated with nothing but respect throughout my time there. Thank you to the organizing committee for bringing us together and giving us a platform to celebrate one another and to be connected. My wish for each and every one of you is to carry the strength and support you feel from this group today with you each and every day, well beyond International Women's Day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Lisa Keshmore. And let's move on to Ms. Fisa Khalid Chaudhary. Ms. Fisa, are you there? Hi. Hi, can you see me? Yes, I can see you. Okay, that is great. So, uh, hi, everyone. Thank you so much, uh, the organizing committee, for nominating me. Uh, and uh, a special thanks to uh, Dr. Poon for me. I'm really grateful to be, you know, uh, on this, on, with communicating with all of you and being attached to all of you. It's overwhelming for me. I myself might not be a big part of the, you know, all ecosystem, but it's really overwhelming for me to be part of all of you. 
and learn through you guys, learn from your experiences. I hope I'll be able to connect with all of you and stay in touch with all of you. Happy Women's Day, all, all of you, and thank you so much. Dr. Olga Koslova, are you there? Dr. Olga, let's move on to the next. We have Han Hong Lan. Dr. Saundarya Rajesh. Are you there, Dr. Saundarya? Dr. Kavita Sharma? Ms. Kavita Sharma? Next, we have uh, Ms. Laura. Are you there, Ms. Laura? Ms. Aja Salmi. If I see. Ms. Aja, are you there? Yes, um, thank you, you all for everything, for this recognition and congratulations to everybody. Greetings from Finland and Cumulus Association that has enabled me to be together with you, not only today, but for the future. It's, um, it's a great mission and I'm, I'm confident we'll all work together to um, enable women uh, contribute to the success of the planet. Um, women are energy, I would like to say, it does matter. So thanks, fantastic to be here with all of you, not only today, but also in the future. Thank you so much, Ms. Aja. Next, Are you there? Ms. Shipra Bhutani. Hi, I am Ms. there. Yes. Yeah, I can see you. Yeah. Hi, Namaste. I am Shipra Sharma Bhutani from Capacitor Connect. Uh, we have 10 million skilled manpower with us and we provide trainings to uh, jail inmates, war widows and mentally and physically challenged people. I must congratulate Aparna Aparna ji and Santosh ji for this amazing, amazing platform. And this is incredible to see women across the globe on one platform. There is only one message I want to give to all the women, a new definition for fail, F-A-I-L, first attempt in learning and a new definition for no, next opportunity. So never get disheartened and embrace failure and no with new definition Happy Women's Day. Each day is Women's Day. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Uh, now we have Ms. Ritu Singh. Yeah, hi. Uh, good evening. Good morning to everybody here. Uh, first of all, a huge shout out to GCPIT and Sim SME. Santosh Ji, Aparna, and the entire team that's working behind the scenes. You guys are really great. You guys rock. Thank you. So, uh, so um, this is actually a huge thing. This is a huge honor. Uh, it is a humbling experience as well. Um, it also motivates me to keep going and to continue to choose to challenge. I mean, I loved that, choose to challenge. Um, this is, uh, in the words of uh, Gina Carey, a strong woman looks, to, uh, looks uh, a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink. So I would actually choose to challenge and then give it a wink. 
congratulations to all the accomplished leaders here. Uh, happy uh, Women's Day as well. Thank you. Tony Scalian, are you there? Next, we have Miss Neha Jain. Yes. Yes, I can now, see you. Can you see me, Aparna? Yes, yeah, I can see you. Great. So, uh, first of all, Aparna, it's an absolute honor to be on such an amazing platform amongst all the world leaders. I would like to thank GCPIT, Santoshji, and you, Aparna, especially for this recognition. Uh, whilst I echo the words and quotes of all the inspiring fellow awardees out here, as a promoter of women's healthcare brand, I would like to say a few words. The nation is determined by the health of its citizens, and a healthy woman helps to build a healthy nation. It's the emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual well-being that makes a strong woman. So this Women's Day, I would like to challenge all the women out here to take care of yourself, your own health, and take a pledge to take care of her. Thank you. So that's my message, Aparna. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Neha. And uh, next we have Ms. Alisa Ishit Moses. Ms. Alisha, are you there? Yes, I'm here. One minute. I will put my... Yes. Can you can see, see me? You. I can see you. Yeah, I can't see me, but if you see me, it's okay. I Hello and namaste from Israel. Uh, as a woman, I'm doing two things at the same time. So, <laughs> of course, we can we, we can do everything. I'm so honored to be here. I believe in what Gandhi said. If you want to make if you want to make a change, be the change. So I think every one of us should think how can we help another woman or girls really, do what we did. And um, I think we can do everything together. And next time we'll have a man day. So the women will rule and men will have one day for themselves. I don't mind. So thank you very much. And Toda uh, Raba from Israel. Thank you so much, Alisa. <laughs> that was amazing. Now let's have Ms. Rajshri Rao. Um, hi, Aparna, can you see me? Yes, I can see okay. you. Uh, firstly, thank you to all and thank you so much to GCPIT, Santosh, Aparna for pulling this out together so fantastically in such a short span of time and uh, wishing all my distinguished leaders across the globe and all the women in this world a very happy International Women's Day. I think I, I owe everything my distinguished leaders have said in, in this entire session. All I would like to say is women are foolish to be, pretend they're equal to men. There is no comparison to, between a man and a woman. On the contrary, a woman is already superior and all we have, we don't have to fight equality. It is about rightfully taking our position. There is nobody who has to give it to you. You have to go get it. And most important thing, each time when a woman stands up for herself, possibly not knowing or unknowingly, she is standing up for all other women. There is strength in numbers and one voice. So we cannot think, you know, any woman is an enemy of another woman. We are all there together to lead and to make this world a better place. So be the change you want to see in this world. I cannot change someone else, but I have to become a role model. And leadership is a huge responsibility. So you are shouldering and you're setting yourself as a role model. And leadership is a journey together. It is not I alone who can transform in this world. We all have to do it together. And thank you once again for GCPIT for this wonderful opportunity. I am extremely privileged and honored and absolutely humbled. Thank you so much, Rashri. And next we have uh, Ms. Caitlin Ramos-Brome. 
Ms. Kathleen, are you there? Next, let us move on to the 100th global leader, Ms. Mary Rossi. Are you there, Ms. Mary? Ms. Melissa, uh, are you there? Next, let's move on to Ms. Melissa Pierre. Ms. Melissa, are you there? Yeah, can, yes, can you yes. see me and hear me? Yes, I can, I can see you, yes. Yes, so I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good night, good evening to everyone, and thank you very much for recognizing me, and I'm really honored to be part of this fantastic group. I want to wish everyone a happy International Women's Day to all women and girls around the world. When we stand together, we will all be victorious in dismantling systems of oppression and discrimination against women, which is the work that I'm very proud of and honored to be part of. Thank you to the organizers and to Santosh for you guys' tireless work in organizing this initiative. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Lisa. Next, let's, uh, uh, next, let's move on to Ms. Olga Bumdachuk. Ms. Olga, are you there? Next, we have Ms. Pooja Bhatia. Ms. Pooja. You see, behind every successful man, there's a woman. But after every successful woman is another woman. So everyone, happy independent, uh, International Women's Day. And thank you, Aparna and Santosh, for this rewarding association with GCPIT and CIMSME. I congratulate all the awardees. I thank Dr. Wali, MD, FIT, for the opportunity to head Innovation Technology Transfer Office and my wonderful team members, Pragati, Reema, Tripta, and Subradeep. Thank you for always motivating me. Many thanks to my parents, Suhas, my husband, my sisters, Ashisha and Punita, the three upcoming young girl leaders, Ria, Lubhavni, and Ira, for their patience, understanding, and support for my endeavors. Thank you all. Have a wonderful evening and be yourself. Thank you so much, Ms. Pooja. Next, we have Ms. Wendy Alexander. Ms. Wendy. Hello, thank you so much. Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you, GCPIT, for this amazing award. I'm very honored. I choose to challenge every woman to stand in your superpower, which is to be a woman. Support our youth and encourage them to stand in their power and their voice. I challenge us to speak up when we see things are wrong, but also to support things that are right. Be willing to make the change that you want to see. I choose to and I choose you to do the same. Remember, we are not in competitions. We are we are not in competition. We are here to support one another. And last, I choose to challenge us to be the voice for the voiceless. Again, thank you so much for this amazing award. I'm appreciative. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Wendy. And uh, next, let's have Dr. Abharishi. Dr. Uh, Abharishi? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can see you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Aparna. And uh, thank you, Santosh and uh, GCPIT, for this uh, wonderful honor. Uh, like my earlier uh, colleague said, Behind every man, there is a woman. But I'll also say that behind every woman is a man who decided to go against the social mores. So a big shout out to all those men who decided not to do what the rest of the society does, but to support, encourage uh, the women in their lives. So thank you so much uh, for this particular award. And I wish the entire organization and the team which is there all the best. And thank you again. Thank you, Dr. Abharishi. Next, we have uh, Dr. Uh, Dhanyamanan, Patatil Dhanyamanan. Uh, hello, all. Uh, first of all, a very big thanks to the uh, organizers of this event uh, and uh, for the wonderful initiative that Mr. Santosh and Aparna has uh, uh, taken on this. I'm much honored and humbled to be part of this elite group of women from all around the world. Thank you very much and a very happy Women's Day to all. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dhanya. And next we have uh, Ms. Yale Rosenberg. I hope I pronounced the name right. Ms. Yale, are you there? 
and let's move on to the 108th woman leader miss jasmina sidrowski miss jasmina are you there miss jasmina so that is our uh, last uh, but not the least uh, santosh ji are you taking the screenshot should i take could you allow me to to switch on the video please santosh ji can you hear who has disabled the video may i know who is that i'm not abir abir it's abir abir yeah yeah yes abir i've done it yes reema um, can you please switch on the video then wow. kina doc Thank you. Now, ma'am, I just. Uh, uh, my Sala. camera is on, Abana. Yes, I can see you. You are logged in in from from two devices, I think. The, okay. Miss Hina, Miss Hello, Nades. Abana, I think you also need to thank yes, I'm here. forty-five intrepid souls who stayed back till the end of the program. Yes, exactly. I should appreciate. Oh my God, this is really amazing. Amazing. Santoshi, are you taking the screenshot or should I take? I think so. Yes, are we done? Hello, Kai. Hello. Yes, uh, I think I, we have. Her. Hello, it's everyone. It's amazing! It's amazing! Thank you so much for joining us, and I know that uh, you all are busy people, and uh, really, really, it's uh, uh, it's International Women's Day. I know you all have different programs, and uh, last minute uh, we had you uh, know squeezed you in. I know so <laughs> many people have been following me up. What is the schedule? Please send me the agenda. I'm really sorry. We were really working hard to make this. even the huge success oh, thank you so much you amazing uh, leaders thank for joining us today and i believe when women support women incredible things happen and let's together create the change we want to see in the world as mahatma gandhi said and everybody was saying is praising mr santosh let me also thank him thank you so much santosh ji i am so grateful for all the opportunities you have been giving me and to all of us in cmsme and gcpit <coughs> i last 10 years of women leadership i have never seen a new organization starting the women's day celebrations one month back and also uh, we will be continuing this journey till our dream is achieved once again wishing you all beautiful ladies a happy international day congratulations to all the amazing uh, women out here amazing for the amazing work you have been doing thank you so much for joining us today and i wish to call mr santosh to speak a few words about his vision and about w combinator i ha i don't have anything to say i think my our result is showing right so we look forward to working for another one year together to transform another thousand lives so that's the new objective nothing else and uh, next year whenever we celebrate at least we should have at least 100 into 10 at least uh, 1000 people so that will be the inspiration st story right so that's all thank you so much and uh, we'll be sharing the certificate into whatsapp and the uh, high resolution certificate will be emailed to your respective mail id so for the time being we'll share that into whatsapp so that immediately you can use it and uh, we'll be emailing you because that is going to take too much time because we need to hunt each and every one and send it so uh, we'll do that uh, but uh, for the time being we'll be sending the certificate quickly on your whatsapp santosh you are a visionary and i'm i would like to say on behalf of everyone here this it's tireless effort your effort and your team's effort kudos to all of you you have been saying thank you to everyone we are all very thankful to you aparna and the entire team of gcpit to make this happen you guys have been tirelessly working day and night for weeks now calling getting the interviews done you both are an inspiration for all of us too how a team works so selflessly you have given everything into this organization and thank you for recognizing us but thank you for believing in us and thank you for being yourself what you are and we really mean every word that we are saying but thank you santosh you have been tirelessly going on about it 
if changes will come, it will be social leaders and like you who will make the change. And it's like your dedication to give back to community is unparalleled. We learn from you and Aparna each day as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Upasna. Yeah, you really made a day. That was uh, really touching. And if any have to say anything, you can. If you are Thank you, Aparna. Thank you, uh, Shantou. <laughs> And you amazing job. I don't know, you know, I don't have any word. I can only say it's amazing job. And obviously you have created a great platform and we all are there to support you to take it forward. Thank you so much, Dr. Lopa. That was amazing. Excellent, excellent work. Um, uh, and uh, can I also say Hello. Yes, yeah, uh, 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 and Santosh. I'm just so delighted to have the entire globe on this platform. How did you manage to get women from Mexico, Finland, Germany, Russia, Japan? I don't know from how did you manage to do it? This 46 is countries are present, 46 countries. 46 countries, oh my God, you must, must highlight this thing because I, I don't think even the government of India is capable of doing this. <laughs> you know, inviting 46 countries on one platform. Incredible work. Congratulations. And I'm really delighted and humbled to be part of this. Let's continue this journey and start. A, it, it should be a start of new era and a new association between us and you. Let's continue the good work. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Prabhudani. And come in there. Zine, yeah, Zine, you. Thank you so much, Aparna. Um, on, on behalf of all of us here in South Africa, and I suppose I'm also talking on behalf of uh, Brand Africa when I say thank you so much to you, Aparna, as well as Santosh um, for this. And um, we really appreciate you. And um, I suppose going forward, we're all going to be holding our hands, all of us together as women, because we're all representing each other here. Thank you so much to everybody who was, who was here and then you beautiful ladies uh, who have received um, this award today. Let us not lose each other's contact and they start working together. The world is very really small um, and here we are in this global space. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much, Zine. And uh, let's uh, you know, all be there in the W Combinator. Uh, I hope Santoshi will uh, soon. Miss Amir, uh, Abir wanted to speak something. She has raised hand. Yes. Abir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So much. I want to say thank you to, uh, to Carla Holder because she presented me to Aparna and thanks to her I'm here and thanks to her I'm enjoying the best women's day in my life because I see beautiful faces and beautiful smiles and it's such empowering for me. Aparna and Santos, you did a great, a huge job. Thank you so much for the awards and thank you all for your speeches and for inspiring other women and other all the planets, not only women, because um, yes, we, we should keep on going and we should meet again and keep in touch and be a change maker and make the change in our planet because I see a lot of power, a lot of a great job and thank you so much. Shukran in Arab. Thank you, Shukran. Shukran Abir. Thank you so much for those nice words. Actually, I have been learning a lot from you all. Last two weeks was amazing, the interviews. Uh, it has changed me a lot. I have become so powerful talking to all you powerfully. Yeah, yeah, yes, awesome. so we'll be starting our interviews again. So after the the interviews, so yes. interviews has to be completed and uh, we are going to sum up and uh, going to publish into almost 100 stories. So that means four books will be coming. So four different edition of Omen in Leadership. Great, and Dr. Lopa, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Aparna and Mr. Santosh, I would just like to say one thing. You created, you made history. I mean, this is epic. I mean, I have never seen like 46 countries coming together and the relentless efforts. I mean, you, I mean, as uh, Upasana mentioned, right? I mean, you both are our inspiration and, and you motivate us to keep going. And it's kind of like bringing everyone together because as I always say, and we all said the same thing and I echo that we can't do in this era, we can't walk alone. We have to walk together to create the magic. And thank you for doing this for all of us. And it's amazing and you all are the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Lopa. Thank Just to mention 
today there is a you know um, uh, i was just watching the news so there is something going on in bangalore so, uh, that is actually part of greenwich book world record stating that 100 women from india gathered together over a single platform i think though we have not called the greenwich book record actually we have made that right right we believe in practical uh, <laughs> stuff right satosh ji absolutely right we don't believe in media we don't believe in media we don't want uh, we don't want to go to media for the paid thing we right. are here to see, create the impact into ground level and we believe in that right that's now why i said that that, that is 100 from a single it. country and now this is a collaboration it. from so many countries and so many people right now we got a team from um, uh, 46 countries and they are our family. So now our family is bigger. Now I have <laughs> time for uh, 10,000 uh, women. By 2020, whenever I'd like to make, I want at least 10,000 women to be here. And uh, that is our mission. We have already set our mission that we'd like to create 10,000 SMEs brand under Brand India, Brand Africa, Brand Global. So that's the thing. So we are going to take away all those uh, brand uh, and create a global brand. And we all, we need your support. We need all your support in that. And I think Anjumam is still here. Anjumam, you want to say something? I, I want to say something. Yeah, Jeanette, go on. Thank you so much, Aprana. Thank you so much, Santosh. You guys have been amazing doing this. The sleepless nights, I can imagine the toil. Aprana even fell sick at some point. Thank you so much for gathering us together. You've done an, an, an amazing job. And I think at this point, we should unmute ourselves and give a round of applause for Santosh and Aprana and the yeah, entire team. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, it is. Well done. And there are two more people here, Anju Bajaj and Jobser. Mr. Jobs, uh, Job Thomas, who has been helping us. So as Anju ma'am, can you please mute? Yeah. Thank you, Varna. I can't okay. switch on my video. No, but just, just to say that if we want light to come into our life, you need to stand where it is shining. So thank you so much. It was a wonderful event. Many revenue models. Wonderful to listen to all of you. Thank you so much, Anju ma'am. Job, sir, you would like to say something? You have been doing an amazing job sharing all our uh, certificates. Oh, thank you all. Anju ma'am, can you please mute? Yeah, it has been a great uh, effort by all of us here. And thank you all for participating. Without you, this would not have happened. All the very best to all the women who have been awarded today. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Job, sir, for all the support. Yes, so that was an amazing day. So let's wind up, right? Anything else? Any anyone wants to share something? I'd like to. I just want Hello, to say everyone. thank you. Yes, Beth. For, yeah. Thank you again for uh, letting me take part in this amazing event. I am so honored to be included among all of the amazing talent on here. And uh, Sandfosh, don't see your screen at the moment. Um, and you, Aparna, I truly believe we are all sisters and brothers looking out for each other. And one of the things I posted in chat is if I light somebody else's candle, it doesn't take away from my light. It only makes more light for everybody. So let's keep the energy going. There's so much positive energy, and that means empowerment. So whatever I can do to help anybody, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you. Thank I want you to say babe. something. Yes, Aparna. Neha. Yeah. Yes, Go on. Yes. So, you know, everybody is thanking and appreciating. I want to add one more thing. Like, I think you, Aparna and Santosh, you all have become an inspiration for me. I think non-stop working uh, and perceiving every uh, all these things and, you know, getting crowd from 46 countries, I think nobody else can do this job apart from you too. So, Kudos to you guys and you are my inspiration and this is a beautiful day and I think this Women's Day I really got something back from all the lovely ladies out here. So yeah, Aparna and Shantosh, a big thank you. Thank you so much Neha. So I think it's time to wind up. Let's all uh, keep connecting. Thank you so much, lovely ladies. Happy International Day, uh, International Women's Day once again to you all of you. Thank you so much for joining. This is Aparna signing off. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, and don't go bye. away from the group. Bye.
Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye everyone.